Okay, so I was actually thinking of making a different video, but, um, I kind of want to make the part two of the Ninjago video now, so, yeah. And also, if you're wondering where I've been, I'm in space. So, yeah. So after Sensei tells them about how they haven't unlocked their full potential yet, they go clumsily on their way to save a village from Lord Garmadon. You guys believe what Sensei said about unlocking our full potential? He's your Sensei. Who wouldn't believe him? He may be onto something. I mean, since we got these golden weapons, it's not like we've ever had to use them. I wonder what they do. Alright, so I'm going to be frequently referencing something called the Team Leader Chart. Basically, if you do something bold or ask a question that's actually something that a leader would ask to, I don't know, a Master Sensei or something, maybe just the leader of the four, that's one point on your leader chart. I'm not gonna give Jay a point for that. I mean, it's a curious thing, but no, it's not a leader point kind of thing. Just saying. I'm gonna reference this all the time. So when the ninja get to the town they're trying to save, they realize it isn't Lord Garmadon that they're trying to defeat, in this battle at least. It's Lloyd Garmadon, his son. Lloyd Garmadon? I thought we were gonna face Lord Garmadon. I think you should just be happy you're not facing Lord Garmadon. So after they teach Lloyd a lesson to not steal candy and all that kind of bullcrap, they go home. Makai finds something very strange in his little bag thingy. What is it? It's a scroll, windbag. Okay, that was pretty funny. I know it's a scroll, but what does it say? It's written in chicken scratch. Not chicken scratch. The ancient language of our ancestors. One ninja will rise above the others and become the green ninja. The ninja destined to defeat the Dark Lord. Ooh, look, a picture! Dark Lord? Hold on. You think they mean Lord Garmadon? Wait a minute. Is that us? So this is where the show really takes off, revealing that there is a ninja greater than all the others. And all the ninja want to be the green ninja. They want to have all the elements at their fingertips. And they just honestly start competing much more often. Sometimes it's kind of like a contrast kind of thingy. And I kind of like that. However, this scene is completely ruined by one line from Kai. Could I be the green ninja? But I'll deal with his character later. But uh oh, looks like Lloyd found a stupid thing. And this just got creepy. Look into my eyes. Give up your mind. I will control you. No, no, I'm just kidding. This is a snake or serpentine or hypnotize or whatever they call them. And they have the power to hypnotize anyone. But the dude is like an idiot because Lloyd tricks him into hypnotizing his own freaking self. I will control you from now on. What shall you have us do, master? Us? Wow. All Lloyd had to do is block the hypnotized, stupid hypnotizing venom, and now he has his own army. Why? So while that's happening, the ninja go back to their monastery and try to train to see who the green ninja really is. Uh, hey, Nia. Oh, sorry, did I not mention Nia? Yeah, she's Kai's sister, and she's, like, also very skilled in the ninja kind of thing. But, uh, she's not a ninja, because she's a girl. Two matches, then the winners of each face off for the title. Armor's for our own protection. It's time to see what these babies can do. 
I'm kind of getting that leadership vibe from Cole. I don't know why, it just feels natural. He's like a really good kind of person to speak up like that, and in that tone. Not to mention, he's the strongest of all of them, as we'll further in later episodes see. Alright, first up, Kai versus Jay. Ninja, go! Now, while the fight scenes are very awesome in this episode, I can't just do that to you guys. I'm just gonna briefly tell you what happens. So yeah, Kai defeats Jay, and Cole defeats Zane, and then the end battle comes, and Cole defeats Kai, and then his fire sword goes crazy. It's too hot! It's burning! Fire! What were you thinking? Jeez. So, to Sensei's dismay, they figured out about the Green Ninja prophecy, which they weren't supposed to figure out about until very later. He says that they need to train very, very hard until they can become even at a beginner level of becoming the Green Ninja. And now, before I get too ahead of myself, I'm going to put one point on the leader chart for Cole, because he won the entire match. He's the strongest, and he's proven it. So yeah, there's one point for Cole. So after some meditation, or whatever he's doing, Sensei figures out that there's some more trouble in the village that the ninja were just in with Lloyd and the Serpentine. So I guess Lloyd just went to rob the place, or the exact same place that the ninja were at. Which is probably the dumbest idea anyone could ever have. The Serpentine are back! So to make a long story short, the ninja go there, they find Nia, who's been in the village when the whole attack started, and they defeat the Serpentine and Lloyd. However, all the snakes are able to get away. And the leader snake is able to hypnotize Cole for just the right amount of time so that he can, like, look into his mind and do stuff? I don't really know. <laughs> and with that, the first episode of Ninjago has been reviewed by me. This episode gets an 83 out of 100. It's a good starting point for Ninjago, and some of the jokes really do get me laughing. Some of the characters are just still very bland. And I know, I know, it's only 22 minutes, what can you do in 22 minutes? It's like, I know it's the first episode, but there's still some characters that are still trying to find their identity. Like, what is Zane supposed to even be? He's just smart, I guess? And I think the person who got the most development, sort of, was Jay. I mean, he's the funny, kind of charismatic kind of guy, I don't know. But... It honestly is a good starting point for Ninjago. And looking at the leaderboard chart, we see that Cole is in the lead with one point, while the other ninja need to catch up behind him. But it is the first episode, so I'll see you in the next review of this show, where I'll probably be reviewing the second episode, which would probably make sense.